Okay, so Mac OS Big Sur public beta is live, which means you can get it on your Mac right now if you're feeling adventurous. And it's a whole new design after a very long time, which you'll see right at the login screen. Everything's a lot bigger and more rounded. Yeah, this feels modern from the start. It's very iPad-like with the sidebar and these buttons. Yeah, these look very familiar. Yeah, it's a lot more white than before and it makes everything look more spacious. Okay, so I haven't used a Mac in like months and except maybe the finder here, all these icons look a little bit off to me. Yeah, I use the iPad and while these are kind of familiar, something about them doesn't feel right. The shadows are a bit excessive in my opinion. Also, everything is a lot more transparent from the top to the menu bar. You can even see it in the sidebar. Contrast can be a bit of a problem with some elements, especially in dark mode. And I don't know why, but dark mode doesn't look as good on Mac as it does on iPhone. And yeah, speaking of iPhone, the control center is here on Mac. I don't know why it's here, but it's here. Yeah, tell me these were not designed for touch. Using a mouse almost feels wrong with the sliders. Oh, and we have new sounds as well. New sounds and new symbols. Along with control center, the new widgets are also here. Yeah, these look exactly like on iOS 14, which means they look good, come in different sizes and deliver more information at a glance. But the biggest change besides the new design is to Safari. First of all, love the clean look. The new start page offers a lot more customization and you can select or deselect stuff. Privacy stuff from iOS 14 is also here. And you can set a custom background image. Oh, and with tabs, you can hover over to get a preview, which is pretty nice. And yeah, I'm sure it's faster and more efficient than before. And perhaps the most important of them all, YouTube now works in 4K inside Safari. Yeah, I think a lot many people will now finally switch over from Chrome and it has the option to import your stuff from Chrome as well. Extensions though will be dependent on developers, but I think most of the Chrome extensions will make their way to Safari. Pixar is compatible with these Macs and it's wild to see them leave out Macs based on when they were launched. Like my iMac isn't on the list, but this MacBook Air with 4GB of RAM is supported. Like the iMac is obviously more than capable. Now I cannot talk about stability or performance with the beta because I don't use the Mac as my main computer anymore but it's worse than iOS beta for sure. The bottom line is that the Mac doesn't look dated anymore and it'll be interesting to see what the new Apple Silicon Macs look like. Let me know your thoughts on Big Sur down below and I'll see you later.